Chris here at eAchieve Academy and I'm here to show you how to unbox your new eAchieve laptop. Hopefully you picked up your new computer from Milwaukee PC. Many of you got this model here, the Asus 15.6 uh, inch laptop. Some of you got a different model, that's fine. The unboxing instructions are going to be pretty much the same uh, regardless of which model you got. So let's take a look. Uh, you got home and you're all excited to get your new computer up and running. So you pop it open here. Here's the computer right here. It's got a protective sleeve. A couple of things you'll notice on here on the left side. Here is your power input or your connector power adapter. This is a Ethernet port. That's for connecting to the internet using a wired internet connection. This is a VGA connection. That would be for connecting your computer to an external monitor or to a projector, something like that. Here's an HDMI port. That uses an HDMI cable to connect this computer to an HDMI TV or an HDMI external monitor or a projector. It's a video, out, video and audio output. Uh, this is a USB 2 connection and here's a USB 3 connection. So any USB devices like headphones, microphones, um, external mouse, external keyboard, things like that can connect through here or flash drive. And then here's your headphone jack. So you have built-in speakers in the laptop itself or you can connect headphones and listen to um, the audio of your classes that way. If you flip it around on the other side, you see you have a CD DVD drive so you can actually play CDs or DVDs on this uh, computer and you have a security jack here for a uh, locking device. All right. Also in the box will be your power adapter. It's right over here on the right side. And when you do your initial setup, you're going to want to use the power adapter and you're going to want to plug in your uh, computer using a uh, surge protector, a power strip, just to protect it. And a good tip is uh, you don't want to leave your computer plugged in all the time. So plug it in to charge it all the way up or leave it plugged in when you're using it, but then unplug it when you're done. Uh, that'll help save your battery. All right, so let's set the box aside for now. Let's get our power adapter plugged in. All right, once again, that goes right in the side here. And now we're ready to open it up and turn it on. Power button is up here on the left. And you'll see that the first time you power it up, you're going to go through some um, setup procedures. All right, so the first screen that you're going to see that you'll have to uh, enter some information is to select your language. So for most of you, that's going to be English. Just use the touchpad here. Point the cursor at English and then click the left side on the lower part of the touchpad. That's your mouse button, your left mouse button. Once you select English, move the cursor down here to Next and hit the left mouse button again. Now it's going to ask you uh, the country and region you're in. The default is United States and English and the keyboard layout is US. So if you want to keep all those defaults, just click Next. It'll ask you to accept the license terms and conditions. Just click in the box and hit accept. And now you're going to personalize Windows 8. Mm -hmm. So first thing it'll ask you is what color scheme do you want to use. It comes preset on blue. You can change it if you want. Um, pick whatever color suits you. I'm just going to move it back here to the default. And then you want to give your PC a name. So um, we're just going to call this one EA PC 2015. You can call it whatever you want. Hit next. Now it's going to ask you to connect to a Wi-Fi network. You're going to want to connect to Wi-Fi when you go through the setup so that you can download uh, updates and so forth. So. Select your Wi-Fi network from the list. 
If you want it to connect automatically and not have to ask every time, you can check the box that says connect automatically and then click connect. In the settings screen, it's going to ask you if you want to use express settings or customize. The vast majority of people are going to use express settings. So let's just click on that. And then it's going to ask you to enter your email address. Now you can enter your school email address here, or you can create a Microsoft account. If you already have a Microsoft account, you can enter that email address in here. So I'm going to set this up with my school email address. next and once you get all logged in and connected to the internet Windows is going to go through a setup process and this is going to take a few minutes so just be patient and let it run Alright, Windows has finished the startup procedure and it has installed all your apps and it's ready to be used now.